Hi guys, I in the middle of packing things here uh, for shipment, but I want to show you this real quick. Uh, this is Diakia hendersonianum, and it's a nice miniature that requires a lot of humidity and an open uh, type environment for uh, good culture. It's uh, if you can see here, uh, starting to put an, another leaf out. And even more important on the other side here, if you can see right there, we have a, a flower spike just starting. Okay, this is going to go to my friend Heidi. And with her permission, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, in my greenhouse here with, with good humidity and that it, it's getting enough uh, humidity around it to do well. But in the home, it might be a different story. So what I'm going to do here is I got my trusty old uh, New Zealand sphagnum moss. And uh, I'm going to take some of it and uh, wrap around here. And I have some fishing line. And if I can find the end of it, we will uh, tie that on. Um, Here, fishing line. Tying fishing line is a lot easier said than done, especially when it's real fine like this. But we'll see if we can do this real quick. Maybe not. Okay. And I am just going to wrap this around here. Like this. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I'm wetting the bottom uh, without any. Just putting it around the side and this is going to provide a lot of nice humidity and uh, And uh, then we'll tie it off here. Uh, I'll do that off camera. But, but you see, what we have here is uh, this is going to provide a lot of humidity. It's going to probably dry very quickly on the sphagnum moss, but that's okay. That's what we're looking for. And it's going to help to really give the root area here some good humidity for when it's in the home. Hope you like this, and it's a good idea to try with any small uh, type of and uh, and or any vandacious type of thing uh, appreciates this. Also, some some of the the smaller uh, Cattleya Alliance Rupicolius lalias that you might have mounted like this in a net pot. Um, it has to be a net pot to benefit from this. So, uh, hope you can use it. Put it in your arsenal, guys, for when you need it. This is Blade from Wade's Orchids. Have a good one. Bye-bye.